Hey guys, I'm Diana from Soko Glam and welcome to the ultimate guide in Korean sunscreens. I'm going to be sharing with you some basic information about sunscreen and sun protection as well as showing you how to properly apply sunscreen. I'm also going to help you figure out what your ideal sunscreen is for your skin type and concerns. The first thing I want to talk about is the difference between physical and chemical sunscreens. This is a commonly asked question. Physical sunscreens are more mineral based and they actually protect against the sun by blocking off UV rays. Physical sunscreens tend to leave a white cast and includes ingredients such as titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Since physical sunscreens sit on top of your skin, it's better for sensitive skin types. Chemical sunscreens use active ingredients to absorb the UV radiation. Some chemical filters break down UV rays and release it as heat. Chemical sunscreens tend to not leave a white cast because it is absorbed into the skin unlike physical sunscreens. Chemical sunscreens tend to be better at protecting you against UVA rays. The next common question is what's the difference between SPF and PA that you commonly see on Korean sunscreens. SPF stands for sun protection factor, and the number that comes after those three letters represent the amount of protection that you can expect. SPF depends on your skin tone and skin type. So for example, if your skin tends to burn after 10 minutes of sun exposure, an SPF 50 means you get 50 times that amount of protection. So 50 times 10 is 500 minutes. SPF protects you against UVB rays, which burns your skin. PA actually protects you from UVA rays, which causes premature aging and the darkening of your skin. You might notice that there are pluses after PA. Each plus sign represents a level of protection against UVA rays. It's a good idea to find a sunscreen with both UVA and UVB protection. The final question is how often do I reapply sunscreen? The general rule of thumb is every two to three hours because most people actually don't apply enough sunscreen before they leave the house in the morning. You actually want to apply your sunscreen 15 to 20 minutes before any type of sun exposure. Also, regardless if you're indoors or outdoors all day, you still want to apply sunscreen because you're still exposed to UV lights. If you want to learn how to apply sunscreen over makeup, check the link in the description box. We asked our Korean dermatologist, when do you actually apply sunscreen? And he recommended right after your moisturizer. Instructions on sunscreen typically tell you to apply a generous amount, but what does that actually mean? A good rule of thumb is to apply a quarter size amount to your entire face. I like to start by applying about a finger, pointer finger length onto one side of the face and then another finger pointer length onto the other side. So I'm going to gently swipe this across my face and pat it in. And now I'm gonna do it again on the other side of my face. After patting it in, wait about 15 to 20 minutes before leaving the house and you can feel free to add on makeup after. So we broke down our sunscreens by different finishes. I'm going to walk you through what's the best finish for your skin type or concern. If your skin often feels tight and dry, look for a lightweight formula that adds water, not oil to your skin. A great hydrating sunscreen is the Plantalicious UV Sunscreen by E Nature. This has more of an emulsion type texture and really adds that boost in hydration. This product contains tonka that protects against sunburns and also safflower seed oil and aloe vera to help soothe and hydrate. If you have uneven skin tone or have enlarged pores, you wanna look for sunscreens that are going to help you perfect and blur. A great sunscreen in this category is the Dr. G Brightening Up Sun. This sunscreen doubles as a makeup primer as well as absorbing excess oils. This sunscreen has light pink to peach undertones to help brighten up your complexion as well as serve as a makeup base. 
If you want to control excess oil in sebum, you want to look for a mattifying sunscreen. This Misha sunscreen features green tea and tea tree extract to help control oil production without drying out your skin. It also contains rose extracts to help protect against environmental stressors. This sunscreen does leave a slight white cast, so you want to spend your time blending it in thoroughly. If your skin tends to get red or flare up easily, you want to look for sunscreens that are designed specifically for sensitive skin. Generally, you want to look for physical sunscreens which contain titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. You also want to look for sunscreens without any added fragrances. A great sunscreen for sensitive skin types and really all skin types is the Neogen Daylight Protection. This sunscreen has rose, honey, and raspberry extracts to help nourish the skin. What's also great about this sunscreen is that it doesn't leave a white cast. Well, I hope you are now well on your way to becoming a sunscreen expert. You can find all the information about the products that I talked about as well as sun protection in the links in the description bar. If you have any questions about sunscreen, please comment and we'll be sure to answer. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.